Sounds good. Cool. I wish I could have recorded 
one of his doctor appointments conversation. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I took him to a doctor's appointment, I was horrified. I couldn't believe the way he acted and some of the things he said. This sweet little old man I knew turned into somebody I didn't know. It took the doctor, two nurses, and myself to get him to get his long jumps off. <laughs> they threatened to cut them off, and he got mad. He turned to me and says, Pat, you're not going to let him cut off my long jumps, are you? And I said, yes, I will, if you don't take them off yourself. <laughs> then he really got mad. And in a voice I had never heard him do use before, came, damn it, I thought you were here to help me, not to cut up a good pair of long jumps. <laughs> I've only had these for a few years. <laughs> Needless to say, the rest of the day kept reminding me how I stood by strangers instead of by him. They both were full of surprises, and it's hard not to go on and on about them. But all good things must come to an end, which has happened to them. So in closing, I would like to say thank you both for all the good times we shared, the stories, the songs, the laughs you have left for me. In my eyes, I guess I'd say he's the perfect dog couple. And to Uncle Roy, I would like to say, Uncle Roy, now you are gone, and not below, but up above, where we all know, to where the, the gentle breezes blow and trollers expect to go. Where seas are calm and weather's clear, summertime is all the year. Clothes are always clean and dry, Wishes are vicious, and prices are high. <laughs>